Hello guys, this is Max Forte bringing you another fragrance review. And today I'm going to talk to you about the House of Churchoff, talking about Kobe or Kobe 2009 release. Uh, this fragrance is amazing. Uh, starting with the presentation, the presentation is unbelievable. It's as good as it's going to get. You get this beautiful little bag here for the fragrance. The box is amazing. Total attention to details. Uh, look at the bottle. You have this beautiful metal piece up front. The, the cap is beautiful. We have their church off there. The X inside of the cap. I mean, it's solid metal. The whole bottle, another X over here on the, uh, on the glass. Uh, the serial number is etched on the bottle. I mean, Coke, it's etched on the bottle again. I mean, the attention to detail is just amazing. This bottle is beautiful. This is as good as it gets as far as presentation. It gets a perfect 10. Uh, the price point and bottle sizes, you get 50 ml. I've seen this on Lucky Scent, and I've seen this at Twisted Lily in Brooklyn. That's about it as far as places you can find this. It's not easy to find. It's $260 for the 50 ml, which this is. I don't think it comes in any other sizes. Uh, the nose behind this, an overall release, the nose behind it, Sergio Momo, the creator of Zerchoff. Um, it's a great Italian luxury fragrance house that uses the best quality ingredients, oils, and resins to bring you these amazing fragrances. Um, application and best time to wear. Uh, I wouldn't do more than two to three sprays. This is rather strong. Uh, it lasts a long time. It's not beast, but it has a lot of staying power. Um, I think this is good to wear any time. I mean, you can wear this, uh, I would wear all year round. Um, I think it's a very versatile fragrance, and you're going to get noticed, you're going to get compliments, and it'll last a long time, at least last a long time on my skin. It's, you know, phenomenal fragrance. Um, classification is it's citrus aromatic. The note breakdown you get lebanum, uh, bergamot, and orange. The citrus up top, the heart notes you get orange blossom, pedigree, and the roly. On the base notes you get Brazilian rosewood, oud, benzoin, tonka bean, ambergris, styrax, and musk. Um, a summary of this smell, guys. Um, it's two totally it's two totally different fragrances from opening to dry down. Opens up fresh, citrus blasts, and ends up creamy and musky. It's an amazing transition from. It's far from the linear, guys. It's a beautiful masterpiece, perfect ten in my opinion. Spectacular, gorgeous, fresh, fresh citrus opening. And as if the, the time progresses and the fra fragrance transitions, it develops into a sweet, woody aroma within the perfectly blended scent. It becomes creamy, breathtaking from beginning to end. It gets sweeter, a little woodier and creamier as it gets to the dry down. This is a must-try fragrance, guys. Um, I mean, comparisons to Reflection Man, the Roly Porofino, like a little infusion of, of the two, but Cope is, is it's in a different league. It puts those fragrances to shame. I think it's, you know, it's a total masterpiece. Cove is one of the most stunning fragrances I have ever come across or smelled. It has captured a spot on my 10 most admired and loved fragrances of all time. Final rating, guys, I give this presentation is a perfect 5. Projection, it gets a 5. Longevity, gets a 5. I mean, projection, you're going to get a nice silage. It's, it's got a nice strong push. Um, breathtaking presentation. The longevity, it's, it's, it's weird. You think it's gone, but it creeps back on you. On you. It's kind of like a Ventus. Um, it lasts uh, 8 to 10 hours on my skin. Versatility gets a 5. It's unisex. You can wear it all year round. Uh, uniqueness, it's definitely a 5. It's an amazing scent. Transitions from beginning to end into this citrus, creamy, woodsy. Uh, it's like owning two fragrances into one, guys. This thing is amazing. It's phenomenal. It gets a perfect 5 or a perfect 10. There's nothing else to say. Enough said. Jerjoff, Kobe, perfect 10. Guys, enjoy. Happy 4th of July, and I'll talk to you soon.